around the world, whether it's morning, evening, night time, blessed. Welcome to Cook and Vibe, you know? Yeah, my name's M.R. Come on, I laugh after them, none, I laugh after them, none of them too bad like me. Yeah, leg, I'm in the zoom, zoom, weed. Boom! I agree, boss, and I'm ahead. Let me say, dog, yo, it's sick. Before I start, I'm not Jamie Oliver, alright? I'm not Jamie Oliver, I'm not a proper chef, nothing like that. You know, I just like cooking food, you know, I'm a dancehall artist, if you don't know me already, then I'm a music artist, I'm a dancehall reggae artist, and I love to cook food. But in this, in these episodes, we're not doing no measurements, you understand? That's what, we have to look, look and learn, you understand? Because <laughs> that's how I learn, I look and I learn, and more time I'll post. My, my food on Instagram, on my story and these things and people always DMing me and they say yo Emda, you should do like a cooking show or something something and originally, originally people I was going to do a cookbook but then when I sat down must me then when I sat down and I started realising that when <laughs> you're writing that ingredients <laughs> And a method, you know, you gotta write down measurements and all these things. And a man like me don't know measurement, me just season, you understand? Not like, no, I was gonna say something then, but listen, we season our food properly over it, yeah? This is my skin white, we season my food properly, alright? <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, all these things. I'm new to this, this is my first episode, so, you know? It will get bigger and better as time goes on. But yeah, enough with the talk. Today, we're gonna to be cooking some steamed fish. Yeah, some steamed fish and okra. For the gallon, steamed fish and okra body. Yes, me. I feel the man them, steamed fish and okra to get the strong back. You understand? This is a sea bream. I would usually like to use like a snapper or something like that but where I live unfortunately we can't really get that around here so I mean you can get sea bream quite commonly in the supermarket and thing so um you see the little the little sitting there just clip that off with some scissors or something you know and then we have two little ones there and there and just cut off the little top piece. Just get your knife and get in there and just open up the fish a little bit more because it's going to be open anyway and like I said, get the fishmonger to take out the guts already for your car. That's a long thing. That's what I mean. Uh, you see around there, come out when you need knife sometimes. Yeah, man. Boss up lemon like that, my yacht. <laughs> yeah, man, just give it a little wash. people so once you wash your fish and it's cleaned and everything you can just put that to the side and stuff the fish and season the fish as you mean so this is a Jamaica recipe um, but you know say so I'm an English man so my thing might be a little bit different from everybody's got their own way of you know cooking their fish and what they what they put inside it and you know so, today I am going to season my fish, first of all, the vegetables. So I'm going to use half a yellow pepper, I'm going to use half a red pepper, I'm going to use two tomatoes, I'm going to use two scotch bonnet, I'm going to use, say, maybe handful of okra, you know, a handful of okra, onion, some garlic, and some thyme, that's what we're going to put inside the fish, so make sure you wash your vegetables, you know, um, so we are going to cut up the vegetables ready to go inside the fish, ready for the fish and okra. So what got you into cooking them, Doc? 
Um, you know what it was? It was when my daughter was born, and I was like, right, I need to learn how to cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, no, I, I got um, I got a one cookbook, a one Jamaican cookbook, and I literally cook everything in the book, everything. And uh, obviously, you know, being a dancer, reggae artist, anyway, you know, I was, I've always been, you know. I've always been cultured with Jamaican culture, so really and truly, it kind of just makes sense, and that's what that's the, the the food that I enjoyed. So I kind of you know started to learn more about the food, you know, finding out what actual seasonings and etc. you use and the different fruits and stuff, you know. I use half a yellow pepper, half a red pepper. Um, I didn't end up using like the full two tomatoes, maybe like one and a half. I just chopped it up like that. Um, probably going to chop up that a little piece more. <clears throat> There's a place in Jamaica, if, if you know me and you know my music, you know I spend a lot of time in um, Portmore, Jamaica. Um, there's a place called Helsha Beach, right? And honestly, people, you see that place there? Where you get the best fried fish and festivals in the world. I promise you. If you ever go to Jamaica, you need to go to Hellshire Beach to get some fish and some festival. So we cut up the onion, cut up the pepper, cut up the tomato. So depending on how spicy you like your things, you know, how many scotch bonnet you want to use. Um, they made this one spicy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you see, you see, like enough people get scared. And they went talk about put gloves on before you cut the. Oh, when they need gloves, man. Yeah, dash out with the seed. Yeah, we take out the seed because we don't want it too hot, man. You know, rubbing that flavour in the inside of the meat in the fish. Do you know what I'm saying? So when it steams, it's them flavours are going inside the fish and juicing up with the fish. So, with the scotch bonnet now, we don't want it spicy, spicy hot, we just want that scotch bonnet taste. You know? It's an okra. I mean, I just chop up mine small like this. See the t shirt that I'm wearing? Rising vibe. That's my EP. It's available iTunes, Spotify, all these things. Um, yeah, like I said, if, you, if this is the first time you're watching me and you don't, you've never seen my face before and you're thinking, you're who is this big up? Well, I'm M. R. Yeah, my music artist. Check out my Instagram. People them loved the food that I was cooking all the time. And uh, they presumed that I was a good cook. But I'm not sure about that. But we had a cook and vibe. You see me? Yeah, guys. Like I say, it's not a serious thing. So I used about I used about five, six okra there. Yeah. Other things we're gonna put in is some dry thyme. This one definitely dry, I need to get some water out in. But yeah that there now and um, the last that we're going to put in there is two cloves of garlic one for each fish remember say this is for two fish and a people you can, if you never did work that out can you see two fish in the beginning then <laughs> but uh yeah all right so i just want to some little slits in the fish just so the Seasoning goes in a little bit more. You want to put little flavour inside the fish before you put your, your, your vegetables in, you know. I'm just going to use some all-purpose seasoning and some cayenne pepper. Like I say, everybody seasons their thing different. This is not authentic Jamaican cooking. This is just my style of what I learned along my travels. Um, I find this is the best seasoning, people. Easy spice. Um, you can get it like places like Brixton, 
you know, um, Tottenham, areas like that, you should be able to go in. Let's give the fish, let's just sprinkle a little piece on top of it. Uh, remember, there's no measurements, so you better look, look and learn. See that? We can learn, remember? That's a little piece, that's a little piece. So now we're gonna stop the fish. So you wanna get some tin foil. Ready for the fish. For the first one. So remember say all this that I've cut up, so everything that I've told you to cut up and how much is for two fish, remember? So there ain't no 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 special way to do it. Get the onion in there. Get some tomato in there. Tomato. You taught you this specific recipe. Um, this specific recipe um I learned from a, a, a bridge in a mine. Yeah, you might know him from my music as well, action man. So big up action man for this one, yeah. A uh, bridging, Jamaican bridging, you know, and in the summertime you cook round, come around and cook fish, man. So I'ma just watch him and teeth in recipe. <laughs> but yeah, you wanna get them right inside there, man. Get some of that dry thyme. So basically everything that you cut up, get inside there, get that okra inside there, cause that's the good stuff. Zimmy. Yeah man. Be good for one. I'm just gonna wrap that up. I don't wanna wrap it up too much in other car. people you might not use everything just stuff your fish you know what I'm saying when it full when the belly full then you know said so that I gonna make your belly full that's it um, you preheat your oven before with this you know make sure it's nice and hot and ready so once you wrap up the fish in the foil they're ready to go in I mean I would say cook them for anything say 15 to 20 minutes. Mm, I mean, you know what it is, you know where, you know, I'm not a professional chef, so sometimes I don't, but I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say go 25. I wouldn't say go 25, so 15, 20 minutes in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven. And uh, yeah, let's see what comes out on the other side. Okay. I'd turn it down to say uh, 150 maybe, maybe 175. Yeah, like I say, I'm not sure if that's um, on point, but that's how I do it. And it's supposed to work. If it don't work, we can't work it all together. <laughs> you see me? Cook and vibe, man. So once again, welcome to Cook on Fire people. Whilst the fish is cooking in the oven, you know, this recipe is a Jamaican recipe. The okra steamed fish. You know what I'm saying? It meant to give you a strong backer. 
keep the girl and good worker. You see me? Yeah. Kids, you won't know about that, yeah? But when you grow up, just, just, it's very healthy, kids. It's very good for you, okay? All right. But yeah, people, this is my cooking channel. It's not, I'm not a professional chef, and this is not a professional cooking show. Um, music artist. Um, check out my music, check out my Instagram. Um, my music's on there, and I've just done this because the fans wanted to see me cook. So this is just for the fans. Literally, this is just for the fans, you know. Um, also, uh, it's filmed and edited by Moss Media. Follow Moss Media down below there. Uh, and subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you want to cook. If you want to see me cook a certain dish, a certain thing, you know, just message, just comment, and you know, let me know, and I will try and cook everything you guys want me to if I know how to cook it. Now, in these episodes, I'm gonna be doing some, um, you know, some personal in, uh, dishes that I made myself, and there will be other recipes inspired by other places and these things, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're definitely gonna do some juices and things, like peanut punch, sour sub juice, and everything there, you know? So people just, like I say, subscribe like comment share tell your people then if you like fish i know a lot of people are not used to, to fresh fish you know especially in england we're not used to fresh fish so much yo i tell you it's good especially if you have kids and anything there and you know, it's cool for the kids them to eat even if you're worried about bones and anything there you can simply just take out the meat and put it on their plate so Safe for them, but you know, so enough people fret about bones in fish and them thing there in England. Me no one man, you can't go to Jamaica and, and worry about bone in fish and them thing there. Let me tell you. But yeah, cook and vibe, my people. Rise and vibe. The EP is out now. We got Moss Media. It's M to R Moss Media. It's cook and vibe, man. Once that time's up, people. And there you have it, people. Steam fish and okra. Yeah. And you can have this with, you can cook it with rice and some salad. You can have it with some green bananas, some yam, with some potatoes, anything you want. You know, consume it with. That's up to you. But yes, that is the steam fish and okra. People, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Or what is it? I can do better to make it better. Comment if you want me to cook a certain dish. This was cooking fine. He was most media. I'm M the R. Big up yourself. Rise and vibe, cook and vibe. Strong back I get the good work off.